Do you want to get better at defense and getting more steals? Just imagine getting three, four, five steals per game, getting breakaway layups, scoring more buckets, getting the crowd pumped up, and having a huge impact on your team. I'm Coach Sam, I'm your shot doctor and basketball trainer, and by the end of this video, you will have my top four ways to get more steals in the game and to help your team. The first technique we're going over is what I call the swiper. Okay, the swiper is a great technique to use when guarding the ball. For demonstration purposes, we're not gonna use the ball. At the end of it, I will add the ball to it. So when I'm guarding the ball here, DJ is gonna pretend like he's dribbling and I'm cutting him off. I'm gonna use my left hand in this case to swipe. If I cut him off and before he turns, before he crosses over, I'm using that swipe. Now we're going this direction. I cut him off, I swipe. Sir, yes sir! So that's the swiper on a crossover. Now we'll talk about between the legs. It's the same philosophy, same technique. We want to swipe before he gets between the legs. So I'm here, he goes between, I swipe. Swipe. We're just going to do one crossover and I'll show you the swipe before he gets it crossed over. So the swiper is a great technique to use because you're not going to foul the defender. You're able to swipe and then change direction. The second technique we're going over is what I call the pickpocket. Yes! Okay, again, we're guarding the ball. We are working on him changing direction. It's important that we don't get super excited and overly aggressive or else that player is just going to pick up the ball and he's going to pass it and you're not going to have the opportunity. So we want to cut off the defender without scaring him. So here's what it'll look like. He's dribbling. I go to cut him off. Once he turns his back, now is when the pickpocket is looking to happen. Okay, so he's got his back here. A lot of offensive players will leave the ball in a bad position with his left hand there now dribbling, and I'm going to pickpocket it from behind. Now we're going this direction here. I'm cutting him off, but I'm not scaring him. He turns his back on me, and now I'm looking for the pickpocket from behind. I don't scare him, I cut him off, wait for the turn. There's my pickpocket. And we're off to the races. The third technique we're going over to steal the ball is what I call the stunt. This is when you're off the ball. I'm guarding an imaginary offensive player here in the corner, and our guy DJ has the ball at the top of the key. So what we want to do on the stunt is to fake at the ball and then get away. This is what it looks like. As he's coming, I'm going to fake early, and then I'm going to get away. That's going to give me an opportunity to steal the ball as I get my hand in the passing lane. What we do not want to do is to commit late. He's coming. I commit late. Now all my momentum is going at the ball, and I don't have a good angle to get in the passing lane. So make sure on our stunt we are faking and getting away early. I'm going to fake early, and then I'm going to get away early. That way, as he passes the ball, I'm already retrieving to the player that I'm guarding. I get a hand in the passing lane and I'm off to the races. And the fourth and final technique we're going over is the strip. We'll talk about the strip down and the strip up. Okay, so when I'm guarding the ball, he's a good ball handler, I'm gonna work on cutting him off. One, two, three. And he goes to shoot. His hands are going up. We want to go the opposite direction. So as he goes up, I'm stripping down at the ball. If I don't get it, no worries. I bring my other hand up to contest it. But don't just cut him off and keep both hands up. We want to cut him off, strip down, and then contest it with our other hand. The strip down will also work in the post. Let me give you guys a tip. Always play their strong hand in the post. DJ's right-handed. He's going to take two dribbles middle 
but I know he's coming back to his right hand. I'm going to anticipate it, and we're going to anticipate the strip. So we want to strip down when the shooter goes up, but we want to strip up when he's gonna come from up going down. This is a great situation to steal the ball on a rebound situation. So as DJ gets the rebound, it's over his head, I'm coming in, he's bringing the ball down, and I'm swiping up. We want to go the opposite direction of where the offensive player is moving the ball. As he comes down, I'm swiping up, And that's your fourth technique of how to steal the ball. If you're looking to become the best player that you can become, hit the subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of my videos. Hit the notification bell also so you get notified every single time that I come out with a new video. I make new videos every single week about basketball shooting, basketball training. My goal on this channel is to make you the best player that you can become. 